All right, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will show you how to do unit testing with Google Tests, also known as GTest, for your C++ ROS packages. I will start off by going over the C++ Google Test package, go over the C++ Google Test example, update our package.xml, update our cmakelist.txt, build our package, and finally, we will see how to run unit tests with GTest. So you can see here we have our C++ Google test package. So inside of our uh, folder here, you see we have our tutorial test. And inside of here, we have our include source test folders and the usual CMakeList and package.xml. So you want to go ahead and copy that into your ROS2 workspace and your source folder, which I've already done. So next up, let's take a look at our C++ Google test example inside of our test folder. So here we have our tutorial test.cpp. So first off, you want to include the gtest, gtest.h. And then inside of here, we will have our test case. So our test case, we're going to have a package name and then the name of our test here, which is called uh, first test. And then the thing we're checking is if uh, 2 plus 2 equals to 4. And that's why we're using the cert eq command. And then inside of our int main function, we're going to have uh, testing, we're going to start the init Google test, and then we're going to return all tests. So when we run in the command line, we're going to see the outputs of our test results. So now we want to go ahead and update our package.xml file. So the only thing you need to add in your package.xml file is this line here that says test depend amend cmake gtest. So now let's take a look at our cmakelist.txt file. So inside of here, we have a if building test section that we modified. So here we have a find package for the gtest, and we need to find the package for the std messages. And here we amend add gtest here. We do the target include directories, and inside of here we want to include our uh, build interface here for our test tutorial test. And then we want to amend target dependencies for our tutorial tests as well as our std messages. Now, finally, we could go ahead and build our package using our Colcom build packages select tutorials test command. Once you're done building, we could go ahead and run our Colcom test command using the Colcom test packages select tutorial test command from our workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And here you can see that um, the test is up and ready. So we could go ahead and print out our results here by using Colcom test results dash all. So you can see this will show us how many tests happen and how many failures. So in this case, we had one test with no failures. And lastly, we could run the Colcom test results all verbose, and this will give us a little bit more details. So if I go ahead and run that, you can see that everything is up and running, okay? So you could go ahead and try to see what happens if your test case failed. So go ahead and try modifying that. Otherwise, uh, in our next video, we're gonna talk about unit testing with Python. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.